Hey gang, AV here and welcome to my review of the Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks Saracer, the Sakura Elfin Assassin figure. Uh, if I'm even saying her name correctly, um, it's Saracer, I believe. But anyhow, this is her in the packaging. This is uh, collector friendly packaging. It has these plastic... Uh, can't even bend that one up. Has these plastic uh, uh, flaps that you just bend to re remove the card and the figure comes right out. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. That's good and bad. It allows you to, to store the figure, display the figure in the packaging, and still take the figure out and play with it. But if you're buying them after the fact, you have to make sure that all the ingredients, all the uh, all the accessories and everything is still there um, so there is an inherent risk with that um, be it as it may the packaging itself is very cool um, you can see the original artwork there depicting the character which is very cool there's the figure in the bubble and you can see the majority of her accessories right through the plastic as you can see she has a crossbow which is very neat Let's flip it over, and on the back, right away, you can see that she has a file card. This is more or less the same size as the old-fashioned G.I. Joe file cards. And I love it. I think it's a nice touch. Uh, if you would like to read it, feel free to pause the video now and do so. Now, again, I think that's an excellent touch. I, I love the fact that they flesh out the characters by giving them a, uh, a detailed backstory and everything. I, I just think that's excellent. Um, here are the other characters that are available. Again, I own all of these, so be on the lookout for reviews for these figures. I know I've reviewed a few already, and I'm going to continue making reviews until I've gone through my whole collection. Um, so keep an eye out for those on my channel and here is a QR code which will take you directly to the Boss Fight um, online store where you can purchase your own figures and that's about it for the packaging let's get her opened and see what she's all about now again collector friendly packaging I'm just going to bend up this plastic flap here this is sealed pretty tightly actually and then just I'm gonna bend that over and slide the card and then remove the figure tray she doesn't come with a lot of accessories compared to other figures I've reviewed but we're not gonna hold that against her we're gonna have a look um, she does have tape holding her crossbow darts in. I'm not going to take that all the way off because I kind of like the fact that it's keeping them secure. Um, before I remove them, however, let me have a look down here at the bag she comes with. Now, one of the reasons why it's not completely resealable is because of these bags. These are very difficult to open without ruining the tape or the bag itself. So. These are pretty much tamper evident uh, if your figure has been opened already. Um, it looks like it just has the figure stand, which I've covered in all my other videos, and the alternate pair of hands, which I've also covered in all my other videos. But I'll just I'll explain it again here, just really quickly. If you'll notice, the figure has they're both grasping sets of grasping hands, but the figure on. It's currently equipped with hands that bend up and down. Those extra set of hands bend in and out, enabling you to get even more poses out of the figure depending on which um, accessories you choose to use with them. So, normally I go through the accessories first, but since I have the figure in my hands right now, why don't we look at the figure itself? So, she is right out of packaging now quail varus had a removable 
wig, but it doesn't look like she does. It looks like that's just part of her head sculpt. Yeah. Yes, yes it is. She does have some very, very large ears though, I will say that. Very big ears. very cool figure with as you can tell some leaf and uh, grass themes as far as her outfit is concerned which makes sense she lives out in the woods she's an elf so and she's barefoot too in case you hadn't noticed kind of cool All right, let's stand her up now we can have a look at the accessories so first of all we're gonna Carefully peel away the tape, and we're going to have a look at some of these crossbow darts here. They are super tiny, but they have painted and sculpted details on them nonetheless, which is very cool. They even have sculpted feathers, which looks like in a, a pyramid formation. I'm not sure if that's coming across. That's really cool really cool let's put them down um, here is the uh, quiver for them and it looks like yes there is there is a spot inside for you to store the crossbow darts how cool is that that's great, and they blend right in, too. That That's fantastic. How cool is that? We'll keep the one out. Looks like it has a notch, which you could probably loop onto her belt or around this hoop here. fits pretty good there it comes up a little bit it may fit better around the actual waist part but it works it's not too bad gets in there pretty easy um, I'd have to do a little bit more work to get it up on her waist or whatever I think it's probably supposed to go here so that's where I'm gonna use mine for now if you know of a better way, let me know. Like I said, though, I think it may fit better if I loop it up around her actual waist, but uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, I want to get the video done, so let's keep it moving. Let's have a look at her crossbow. Pop that out. There is a groove in the front there, which it looks like I can... rest a crossbow dart not sure if it'll peg in there though it'll definitely rest there but i'm not sure if it'll stay there no i don't think it will but it does rest on it which is cool actually it's, it's staying there pretty close wow that wasn't bad i'm impressed you never cease to amaze me boss fight studio Never cease to amaze me. You make a good quality thing. You got I've got a lot of stuff pre-ordered actually. Should be getting all that stuff next year and you will be seeing it all on my channel. So stay tuned. All right, let's get this in her hands. That is the that is the trigger down there, but her hands are a little too small. I don't think I can get them around the trigger. So let's get them underneath the trigger. Pretty cool. I like it. I could actually get her hand up and over that. I could actually make her hold it properly, but uh, I don't want to fight with it during the video. 
maybe after the video when I take my photos. I just wanted to make sure she could get her arms up in the proper pose, and she can. Very cool. All right, let's get this out of her hands here. And she also comes with two knives. These are the two standard elf elven knives that I've seen with other female elven characters. Now, normally, like my elfin archer, for example, these knives would have fit in her in her uh, quiver next to where the arrows go, but she doesn't have that, so I don't think she can store these unless she stick tucks them in her belt, which I guess you could do. You know, that's not too bad. All right. So all in all, she comes with two knives, actually. They're both identical. So let's do a size comparison now. Here she is next to a modern G.I. Joe figure, four inch G.I. Joe figure. And here she is next to a vintage G.I. Joe figure. I'm not sure if it's coming up well on the camera, but she is noticeably taller than the vintage. So she definitely fits in better with the four inch modern scale for 1 18th. Um, <clears throat> let's do our articulation now. Apologize, I'm a little all over the place. I'm a little distracted this evening. But uh, anyhow, she uh, does a full 360 at the neck. Can look down, can look up. A little bit hindered because of her hair she can tilt from side to side with her head which is cool uh, her arms do a full 360 they go up about that far so good range there there's nothing at the bicep her elbows bend over 90 degrees up and almost 90 degrees down they also rotate 360 degrees at the elbow at the wrist, as I've explained earlier, she can do a full 360, plus she has the up and down hinge. The extra set of hands has the in and out hinge. Um, her waist, she has a ab crunch. It's hidden underneath her, uh, her blouse here, but it's there. And she has a good range of motion with it. Doesn't seem to be hindered at all. Um, she does have waist articulation, which is very tight and it, it quite frankly helps to hold the figure together down there so but it is there uh, her hips go out about that far they don't seem to be really hindered by her skirt at all although it is pushing her legs down so it won't hold that position by itself she can do the can can about that far there's nothing at the upper thigh she's got double hinged knees enabling her to get her heels back about that far. She's got a rocker joint at her ankle, enabling her to rock her foot back and forth. She also has a hinge that enables her to put her foot back that far and her foot forward about that far. Very good articulation on, these, on this figure. I'm happy with the accessories, even though she doesn't come with as much as other figures, she has very cool accessories. I'm very happy. So anyhow, this has been my review of Sir Sarah Sir, if I'm even saying that correctly. If you like this video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.